Hello everyone and welcome back to Thimbleweed Park. Last episode we did make some progress. We uh, were able to scare a couple people with Frank's ghost um, at the drinking fountain. We scared a couple people and we were able to get the um, face tron report. <laughs> Um, by putting the, uh, um, passport of the murder victim into the face tron. And, um, then we were also able get to get the finger tron report because we found out how to get into the sewers, which was where we found the murder weapon. Um, we basically just had to chop down that that tree so that we could get through there um yeah and we found the murder weapon we took the fingerprints off of it and it came up as willie which is the homeless guy not sure if that's i mean that's very suspicious so but i don't know i don't know if he actually killed uh the murder murder I don't know if he actually killed the murder victim. But, uh, maybe. Um, but yeah, we basically, we can, we can play as all four characters now. Except the Ransom Clown. We can't play as a Ransom Clown. Um. But we can play as the two agents, the ghost of Frank, and um, Dolores. Which she is trying to... We need to go talk to a lawyer so that he can come to the will reading. Um, or something. And there's some other stuff that we have to do with Dolores. And... Frank, the ghost of Frank, wants to talk to Dolores and go to Chuck's grave. So there's a lot of stuff that we need to do, but with the agents, we're almost done. But that's with foot doing the Tron things, like the, the computers, um, which I feel like those aren't really, it says they're completely accurate, but... I don't, I don't feel like they're super accurate, but, oh well, let's get back into the game. Let's see, okay. Let's get back into the game. I've already scared people, but I can't leave. Um, I could have Dolores come here, maybe, but... He can't leave right now. So maybe I need to call the elevator. It's a button to call the elevator. Right, I have to zap. I'm right here! Hmm. Alright. Xavier says talking on duty is not allowed. Also, I don't talk to new ghosts. Leave me alone. Sorry, but Xavier said no one could go to the penthouse. Well... Get into penthouse. That is my... Is there any other way of... Hmm. I don't think so. Oops. Oh, that's fine. These all look the same. How do I get to the penthouse without... Hmm. Well, I'm not sure. 
Wait, let's see. I'm gonna go down. It's chaos in there. I think they're setting up for something. I'll wait until they're done setting up before I go in. Hmm. Well. What? Why can't I leave? I bet it's Xavier keeping me here in this stupid hotel. Hmm. Well, back to work, Abu. Well, I'm gonna come back to him. I'm gonna have one of these guys go talk to the clown. Tickets, 25 cents. It looks like a circus clown horn. I don't want to pick that up. It's a rusty old padlock. And it's locked. Open up! Federal agents! Keep your panties on! I'm coming! Oh. Whatever you're selling, I'm not buying. So take your dime store suit and good news pamphlets and stick them where the sun don't shine. Hmm. Uh, excuse me, Mr. Ransom. I need to ask you about the body by the bridge. <laughs> What's the matter, kid? Never seen a man wearing makeup before? <laughs> Look, face, you better start talking or get out of here. I don't need another chlorophobic wet pissing his pants on my doorstep. Let me just turn around for a moment. Ah, that's a bit better. I'm sorry about that. I guess I never did get over what happened at my 10th birthday. <laughs> Whatever, bozo. Does this mean you're gonna have your back to me the whole time? We'll see how it goes. Alright, what do you what know about? What do you know about the body by the river? What body? Earlier this evening we found a body down by the bridge. We're investigating and I was told you might have some information for me. Nah, I heard some sirens before, but I figured they were headed for the mansion mansion. That's where most of the f***ed up stuff happens. The mansion mansion? What weird stuff do you know about at the mansion? You wanna find out about the mansion mansion? You're gonna have to talk to some other idiot. I keep to myself and the town folk leave me the f*** alone. Thanks. I'm not about to rock the boat. <laughs> I don't pay rent here and I can't go anywhere else after my f***ing ex-wife took me for everything I had. Hmm. We heard you don't get along with the locals? Given my f creepy clown face and Paul Jean for abusive name calling, it's not made me a popular community figure. No. But I don't need the validation of these small town losers. I'm Ransom the f Clown. <laughs> I was on the f Tonight Show. I'm f great. Uh, um, what do you know about Chuck? What do you know about Chuck? Chuck? As in, Chuck, my factory is too good to make toys, Edmund? <laughs> Didn't know the pompous well myself, but I knew his brother Franklin. Weedy guy. Total scared to stand up to his big brother, even though the family business was in the crapper. <laughs> How do you know Franklin Edmund? How do you know Franklin Edmund? We were supposed to go into business together. My act was about to go bigger than Jesus. I was a hit on The Tonight Show. I was on my way to the top, so we figured why not cash in with a little merchandising. Franklin <laughs> wanted to get the pillow factory into making toys, so it seemed like a good fit. Hmm. What kind of toys were you planning to make with Franklin? Jeez, how do you get by in life without brains or beauty? <laughs> Isn't it obvious? We were gonna make Ransom the Clown insult dolls. Would have been great if Franklin hadn't bailed on me and gone missing before we signed the contracts. I could have been rich by now if that little toady had grown a backbone. <laughs> Don't go anywhere. I'll be back. Whatever, pencil neck. Not like I'm going anywhere, but you're not getting inside without a warrant. 
<laughs> okay. I don't want to pick that up. I remember when those dolls were all the rage. People would wait in line for hours to get one. I'm not touching that. It's probably cursed like ransom. Hmm. No feds without a warrant. Hmm. It says no feds without a warrant. Hmm. All right. Well, now that's done, but can I be Yes, I can be the clown now. That slop tasted like crap when I made it last week. Maybe it's got better with age. The fly larva crawling all over it seemed to think so. Ugh. Meanest clown of 1977 and 1978. Ransom the clown. Too bad the paint's wearing off. My official ransom the clown underwear. Haven't had time to wash them yet. Ugh. Always time to do laundry later. Looks like a frat hole. It's my cheese. I'm letting it age. Okay. Oh. A hamster. Little beeper is pretty vicious. He'd even bite me if I picked him up. He's probably hungry. Haven't fed him in a few days. Little beeper doesn't eat cheese. You think he's a rat or something? He's a hamster. Okay. No thanks. Better leave it where it is. Oh my god, this is disgusting. It's a stack of eviction notices. <laughs> like that sheriff is really gonna drag me to court. I scare the crap out of him. Hmm. I'll just leave it where it is. That way I can laugh at the sheriff whenever I feel like crap. It's an attempted delivery notice. Package held at Thimbleweed Park Post Office for Ransom the Clown. I'm not gonna search the circus for you, Ransom. George the Postman. Uh. Well, you, Georgie, you lazy. Okay. It's a Ransom the Clown comic. Issue number one. Okay. Let's see. What a f of a f still doesn't work. <laughs> well, at least I tried. <sighs> okay, what am I? What's on my to-do list? Feed little beeper. Get package at postal office. Collect thirty-nine more specks of dust. P.S. I hate my life and go beep yourself if you found this note and you are reading it. Okay. It's my old trampoline. Brings back memories. It's a rancid kernel of popcorn. Little Beeper loves this crap. I won't pick up some greasy, disgusting, inedible piece of popcorn if I can't put it in something. Well, fine. It's empty. The rats and I cleaned it out years ago. Okay. Well, that's one. Little beeper. It's a rancid kernel of popcorn. Okay, two. I can count. Am I really gonna pick up all this crap? Yep. The rats having more fun at this than I am. Not even half full yet. This sucks. <laughs> That's a speck of dust. Almost half full. Half full now. This is taking too long. At this rate, it'll be 1988 before I'm done. <laughs> this is gonna take forever. Hey. Like a 
Nothing to pick up here. Looks like a rat hole. Where's it going? There's gotta be a better way. That's what that's where the midway used to be. Now it's my garbage dump. That's what a that's what a midway used to be. Now it's my garbage dump. All right. I can't leave the circus till I feed little beeper. Okay. Oh, his, his squeaky shoes are driving me crazy. That's not gonna be enough for little beeper. What? He can eat that much crap and food. Really? now because no one's here but me and Lil Beefer. It's my tube of Coslerick's patented anti-itch medicine. It works wonders. Hmm. It's a box with a crank on it. Okay. I don't know it does, doesn't work. He does the same thing. Okay. Well, at least I try. That's not gonna f work. Besides, it's pretty rusty and filled with rat. Oh. I can't reach that. Okay, I have to go. They're into the cheese now. It's a full bag of popcorn. Cool. Okay. <sighs> Here you go, little beeper. Enjoy your crap. Okay. Did that. It says collect 36 more piles of dust or specks of dust. All right, let's. Uh, I have to go this way, I guess. Ransom doll? Not touching no. it. Okay. Maybe someone covered it in void. All right. He has to go to. Was it on A Street? I'm trying to remember which street it was on. Humongous honka honkas won't be mailed for at least another week. You, George. Can't a clown visit the post office without the third degree? Sheesh, someone woke up on the wrong side of the big top. Let's try that again. What can I do for you, Chuckles? Um, hey, George, you lazy beep. I want to pick up your pa my package. 
Um, how do you knock a postal without working at the speed pool? Got any more of those beeping awful jokes? I got a joke about the post office. Beep off, postal nerd. Hey, George, you lazy f I want to pick up my package. <laughs> Let me see that. Okay, one moment. And next time, deliver it to me in person. What do you think I pay my tax dollars for? You haven't paid your taxes in years. What do you think sorts all outgoing mail? <laughs> well, <laughs> you. <sighs> okay. It's addressed to me. Ransom the clown. All right, let's open this. There's a note inside. Dear Mr. Clown, we hereby return your defective samples. The wallet seems to be made out of a rare and dangerous the species wallet. of bird, and the candy dispenser sparks whenever you use it. Please do not contact us again. What a bunch of wads. It's my sample official Ransom the Clown wallet. I hope to get a manufacturing deal when I'm back on my feet. Alright, collect 35 more specks of dust. That's all I've left. <laughs> I need to stay focused and solve this murder so I can get on with my... Wait, um... I'll just have her go do it. Wait, where's... This is A Street. Hey, clown face. Alright, let's give this... Want a free wallet? It's just reminding me of how awful my life is now. Cool. So now... You got any loose change? Oh, there he is. You got any, uh, second-hand crystals? Thimbleweed Park guided tours? You got any loose change? I have a new wallet for you. Can I have your muddy one? I have a new wallet for you. Can I have your muddy one? I could use a clean wallet, thanks. Here's my old one. We'll talk later. Don't leave town. Where would I go? All right. Any uh, secondhand crystals? Loose change? Get blood trauma report. Hey, buy me a drink. This isn't mud on the wallet. It looks more like a blood stain. There's nothing inside. No money, nor any ID. Hmm. You got any loose change? All right, he has to give the lawyer's card to Dolores. How do I do that? Um, well, I could have her come here. I don't know which would be faster. Why are you digging in the entryway, you weirdo? Oh, there's another speck of dust. Gotta get all these specks of dust, that's most important. <laughs> most important. Alright, let's go to 8th Street. I like that uh, I finally have a map so I don't have to walk everywhere. So that was getting pretty obnoxious. Hi there. Okay. Can't you talk to him? Uh, hi, Ransom. What the f do you want? You know, I was at your fateful last performance. Well, good for you. So did I insult you? No, I was hiding behind the person in front of me. Your tough luck, I loved insulting kids. It was so easy to make them cry. <laughs> Seeing you curse scarred me for life. Oh, now you're just being dramatic. Between all those sobbing people and Madame Marina's curse, 
I still get nightmares. Well, how do you think I feel? That witch ruined my career, and now I can't even afford to buy makeup remover. As if it would do any good. Well, I think you probably deserved it. You! Were you the killer? No way! I hardly ever even leave the circus except to pick up all my fan mail. I believe you. You're kind of a creep, but I don't think you're a killer. You! <laughs> I need to go. Alright, I have to, um... I don't want to carry this anymore. <laughs> okay. It's a business card for a lawyer. Brant Balowith, JD. Legal problems? Don't worry, we'll screw them for you. I'm in the... F it's a business card Wait, for a lawyer. The... Brant Balowith, JD. Legal problems? Don't worry, we'll screw them for you. I'm in the phone book. Hey, he was Uncle Chuck's lawyer. Yep, okay. Welcome to Quickie Pal. Can I help you find anything? Okay. I just have to get everybody a map because. What's a trailhead? I don't know. Because that'll make it easier for me to go everywhere. I mean, even easier. <laughs> go get a map. Welcome to Quickie Pal. Can I help you find anything? Can I pick up the other one? Yeah, I'll just go give the other one to Ransom. <laughs> so this will make my life so much easier because I can just click on the map and then just have them go. What's his name? Yeah. Wait, yeah, I'm gonna look at it again. It's a business card for a lawyer. Brant Balowick, JD. Brant Balowick. Legal problems? Don't worry, we'll- Oops, Brant Balowick. So it's a B. There it is. Three three six six. Hi there. This is Brant Bailiwick, JD. Do you have legal problems? Then you've come to the right place. I'm out of the office today, prepping for ThimbleCon 87. Try me later. What? Okay. Wait, what did he say? He said he was at Thimbleweed something. Hi there. This is Brant Bailiwick, JD. Do you have legal problems? Then you've come to the right place. I'm out of the office today, prepping for ThimbleCon 87. Try me later. Prepping for ThimbleCon. Hmm. What's at the trailhead? It's a puddle full of muddy water. What the hell? Um, 
I don't think I'm going to do this quite yet. Well, I'm going to go to the hotel so that she can talk to her dad. Although I'm not sure if that's going to, probably not going to work. Because he probably can't actually talk to her. There are some coins at the bottom. What a waste of money. Dolores, it's me, Dad. Dolores, can you see me? I'm standing right here. Mm. I want to give you a hug and say I'm sorry. I wish I, you know, stood up for you against Chuck. But I'm really proud of you for getting that programmer job. You followed your dreams and didn't let Chuck hold you back. I wish I could have, you know, been as strong as you. I wish I'd stood up to Chuck. Chuck pushed everyone around and used his charm to make everyone forgive him. I saw it and, you know, didn't do anything. Goodbye, Dolores. I miss you. Okay. That worked. Hmm. I can't do anything right. All right, I think it might be time to use the head system. Which I forget what. Is that the head system? Welcome back to the Antron yeah, okay. 3000. How can I help you? I need a hint. All right, on things I need for the arrest, I can't find the hint I need. Something in the hotel. What can Franklin do with these new verbs? You can splash bodies of water. You can splash the fountain and the drinking fountain in the lobby and the toilets in hotel rooms. Thank you, goodbye. That's all you can say? Well, I could have her I'll have him splash her. I wonder what the guest is up to. It must be a ghost doing that. I didn't know there were ghosts in the hotel. It's me, Dolores. I'm a ghost. No. Must be my imagination. Hmm. I wonder what the guest is up to now. How? The effect would be better if someone was using it. Oh, okay. I should have her use it again. <laughs> I should have him freeze it. I wonder it. what the guest is up to now. They should really get someone to look at these pipes. Or the ghosts. Whichever it is. Hmm. I don't know what I'm supposed to do. Well, back to work, Abu. Hmm. Let's have her come to the hotel. And I'm gonna have her call. Pigeon Brothers, Plumbing, Electrical, and Paranormal Investigations. We don't monkey wrench around. Look us up in the phone book for help with leaks, sparks, and frights. I need to look at the phone book. Hmm. Where is there a phone book? Hmm. 
I'm trying to remember. All right. <sighs> Four six one six. Hello, you've reached Pigeon Brothers Plumbing. We don't monkey wrench around. The signals are really strong tonight, so we'll only come out for paranormal related plumbing and electrical emergencies. Please try us again later. What? What am I supposed to do? I'm confused. Welcome back to the Hintron 3000. How can I help you? I need a hint. If you can find a hint you're looking for, it's because you don't need to solve it right now. Okay. Thank you. Goodbye. Come on. <sighs> Welcome back to the Hintron 3000. How can I help you? On blood samples. We need a blood sample from the body. Have there you go. talked to the blood tron in City Hall? Surprisingly, that's actually quite helpful. Okay. Thank you. Goodbye. All right. So that's helpful, but. Welcome back to the Hint Tron 3000. How can I help you? You can zap anything electrical. You can zap all elevator buttons, doors to rooms, which unlocks them, and phones. Thank you. And Goodbye. Phones. Hmm. I wonder what the guest is up to now. Hello, you've reached Pigeon Brothers Plumbing. We don't monkey wrench around. The signals are really strong tonight, so we'll only come out for paranormal related plumbing and electrical emergencies. Please try us again later. Okay, it doesn't help me at all. Hmm. Maybe she could talk to the manager about the. Hello, Dolores. How lovely to see you today. How may I be a boo of service? How's business been going? In this town? Always slow. You know how it is. How else may I be a boo of service? Um. Did you see my dad just before he disappeared? I saw him, but I don't know, Abu, what happened to him. Funny thing, Abu, though. Yes? Please, tell me everything. That same day, a man with a large nose, Abu, checked in and then disappeared. Weird. Dad's nose isn't big, and you know what Dad looks like. How else may I be a boo of service? I'm going to check out the beautiful lobby. Goodbye. Have a nice evening, Abu. All right. Well, I guess that's all I'm going to be able to do in this episode because um, I've been recording for more than 30 minutes. So, hold on. Well, back to work. Kaboo. All right. Well, thank you everybody so much for watching. If you liked this video, please go and check out some of the Let's Plays that I've done down in the description below. 
I've done a lot of other games that you can go and check out, and I plan on doing a lot more in the future, so subscribe if you'd like to see more of that. Also, I'm on Twitch, Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook if you want to go check out my social media. I've been streaming on Twitch as much as possible, so if you're interested in going and checking that out, um, and coming and hanging out with me, chatting with me while I'm playing these kind of games, um, I also do all my a lot of other games too um but or or i do music every once in a while and i'm hoping to get back into that at some point but um if you want to come hang out with me while i'm playing games or doing music um you should definitely go follow me on twitch and yeah that's it thank you so much for watching you'll see me next time with another video bye bye